so welcome to the garage I am going to start off with the first part and that's cleaning all of this up to create some space and this is going to be a time-lapse video from now on just to keep it going and that I can continue working along while making a video so yeah let's start cleaning this mess up Alright, so the car's loaded up, that should bring us a lot of space already. I'm gonna bring this all away and then we'll continue in the garage. Alright, so I'm back from the store now. I bought from the dump and I also got some extra strings from the hardware store, some extra tape and some hole filler for the walls where I have a, a couple of screws to take out like up there where the screen is mounted at this moment and I also got some of my tools from the basement to get the um, rails hanging or at least I want to make the holes in the wall before that I start with painting everything so that I don't have to drill and make dust and make a mess everywhere after I've painted. Um, yeah, so that should be it I think. I'm gonna take the uh, rails off from that wall and I'm going to place it over there. And I have these new brackets here for the new mount. which I will have to place up there. So that's what I'm going to do now first. And yeah, gonna do it time lapse again, just a couple different angles, different shots, and let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I think that will be it for the first day. I've come a long way, but not as far as I wanted to. Ideally, I would have had the first coat of paint on there now so that it can dry overnight and I need at least five hours until I can do the second coat. Uh, the idea is two coats with paint that's also a 
base or primer layer and the yeah final uh, outside coat or finish coat uh, so to say but I was able to fill up all the yeah blemishes spots holes in the wall and I was able to hang the first roll the automatic roll and yeah I'm happy about that worked fine I had enough clearance on that side for the door they are the same height so there's no issues there I just still have to figure out the whole cable situation and see where I go with all the stuff that's down here the water lines and so on and I think I will start tomorrow by moving this my whole lighting setup stuff into the living room for a while or a day hopefully not more um, because the cats will scratch on everything I assume but yeah that was it uh, first day I got almost all the walls clean I went with this uh, hole filler um, there were two kinds I was looking for the gray one the gray one well um, but the gray one had a 24 hour drying time so if I would do that now, I had to wait until at least tomorrow at the same time until I could ev even paint over it. Um, and I still have some holes to fill up on that side. But this is a quick filler. Uh, it's white, but it will only take 15 minutes to dry. So that's ideal for yeah, what I'm using it now. I still have to move that whole shelf that side. Uh, I tried to push it once but it wouldn't budge at this moment so I have to get some of the water bottles and cap litter out and then I can probably shove that along. I have to measure up um, about the same sides on both sides until where I'm going to paint. And I still have to drill holes on that wall for the other wall for the YouTube wall with the grey of the storm grey paper if I'm not mistaken. So yeah and I still have the metal bar on the bottom. Um, yeah a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I can hopefully get along quite a bit tomorrow and yeah this will be it for the first part, first day. Uh, let's see how fast we can slam this out of the park and get this over with so we can start shooting. Hello and welcome to the second day. I got some different clothes on. Uh, yeah, it's getting quite warm in here. Yesterday we had rain, today it's like a normal summer day. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this all out. have to hang up the other roll or at least get screws in the wall before paint and then clean everything up, mask everything off and yeah, we can get to painting. So, let's get started.
Welcome back. This is day three that I'm going on with this nail. Uh, it got quite late yesterday. I was done at about 11.30 and at night. <laughs> so I painted everything uh, all in one coat. Uh, I had too little or like one third left for a second coat. So I decided I go over all of the main areas again and it's looking great coverage wise, so we're good there, I hope, I think. Uh, there are a few little spots where you can really still see yeah, in between the brick pattern that there are a few white spots left. I have to touch up those with some leftover paint that I have, so that's all gonna be fine. And for now, the most satisfying part, let's start taking all the tape off. Hello and welcome to the end of this video. Um, I've changed clothing once again. It's about a week later now than the last part you saw a couple of moments ago. Um, as you can see I moved a lot of stuff in here already. Um, I finished late on a Sunday evening around 12 o'clock with removing everything and yeah. Still had to throw everything back from the living room into the garage. So yeah, that's where that ended. Um, the paint came out great, it's looking fine. And it's ready for yeah the next steps. I still haven't sold my old tires. So I'm still waiting for these to go. Uh, barbecue is still here, I have to find a place for that. The water situation will remain for now. I have this new tripod, got it for my birthday from my wife, so I'm very happy with that and I'm still having to yeah, give it a proper test run uh, in the new studio setup. Um, I have some wheels here which I want to mount underneath the box where I have all my tripods and uh, light stands and everything so I can move it around a bit so it's not stationary in the corner and um, so for headshots I can move it out of the way and for the YouTube setup I can move it out of the way and I still have to put these stands into there and I want to use the C stands uh, I'll also link those below cannot live without them I'm also gonna place the lights on those because they have a smaller footprint uh, on the bottom and I have to figure something out with this um, oil pit uh, or what you call it it's a bit wobbly so I want to support that a bit so that when I'm shooting here um, yeah my tripod is sufficiently supported and not wobbling around while I'm shooting that's yeah I don't want those vibrations to um, get into the camera and into my images so that's also another project uh, yeah the wheel placement as mentioned 
I still haven't cut open the new roll of paper. I ordered some magnetic strips, uh, so hopefully I can put a magnetic strip from left to right and also on the back side with some, yeah, that it puts some weight on it uh, because I don't want to have the roll spin freely or uh, loosen up. That's why I have the Velcro tape on that one. But yeah, that's still on its way. Um, so this is the end of this video. Uh, this is the most, yeah, how do you call it? This was the most intense or labor intensive uh, actions that had to take place to get this going. As I mentioned, I also had my birthday in the meanwhile, I turned 30. That's a milestone for me and I have some goals I'm really going to chase now. For which studio, uh, this studio is going to be a big part of it. So yeah, uh, and yeah, can't wait to get started and continue with those dreams. And um, yeah, as mentioned, a couple of things to go. I think those will be separate videos. So this is it for the main renovation part. Uh, all the other parts will be smaller steps and less time lapsey and a bit more in depth. I hope so. That was it. Thank you for watching, uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and future content and what's going to become of the studio and how it's all going to work out. For now, once again, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.